Bandai 112 scale Star Wars plastic model kits are in the Dork Lair. Welcome to another Dork Lair collecting video. Today I'm continuing my little mini series uh, exploring how easy it is to do a model kit. So basically, again, just a reminder, this video is really not for model kit builders. This video is for action figure collectors who've been somewhat intimidated by the model kits and I just want to show that it's really you know aside from cutting the pieces off it's pretty much as basic as building Legos especially if you're going to do something that doesn't really require much paint or detailing like a stormtrooper some of the other figures um, require some detailing some paint work and stuff but there are some kits like this one where you really don't need to do anything they just come out looking really nice and you don't need to do any paint and um, so they come with obviously like the instruction booklet right here and then these are the two options for putting stickers on so you have actual stickers that you can peel off and apply and then you have water slide decals which I think is another thing that maybe people get a little intimidated by and I find these actually much better I like I kind of like putting these on um, but it's a little more involved than these not that much though okay and then you know the kit comes with the uh, racks with the pieces on there and what you do is you just cut them off and assemble so let's jump into this I'm, I'm just gonna probably build like a few parts maybe build the head um, just to kind of like show you how basic and simple it is it'll be a pretty quick video because once you get the gist of it it's not really much different going piece to piece um, throughout the kit. So uh, what I'll do is I'll show you a few parts and um, and then we'll let it go there. So you've got a couple racks. This is the A rack and then this one's the B rack and then of course this one's the PCF6 rack. Uh, and then you got one more with the base on it, SWB3. And as you work your way through the instruction booklet, you will um, basically almost the same way you would with like a Lego kit. So it'll go in parts. So this is the section with the head. And you'll see here that this is step one. And it's calling for four pieces, two steps. You have B... 37, B36, um, A44, and B33. So you can see how that's going to assemble. So if I look at the B rack, I'm going to want to pull off, start with B37 and B36. Simple enough. Find the B rack and look around. So up top here, let's see, up top here, we have the one, two, uh, the lower numbers. So moving on down, we're looking for, again, B37 and B36. So B37 and B36 are these two pieces right here, 36 and 37. And you'll see that the pieces are attached on these triangular points. And the triangle is important because as you're building, you'll see some parts where it's attached at a piece that juts out a little bit more and you want to make sure you cut it at that sort of angled triangle piece, right? There. Um, because it matters at some points. Let me see if I can find one where that matters on this rack. I guess right here, for example, you can see it. You could maybe potentially cut it, um, you know, if you accidentally were to cut it right here instead of cutting it right here that would be a problem <laughs> because you'd be breaking the piece so that that's why it's triangular it's to kind of show you exactly where to cut it very simple very straightforward and so let's cut these pieces off the rack so 36 and 37 and these are kind of like the the back it's basically this way right so it's the back of the helmet so let's cut these two pieces off first so what some people like to do is they like to cut the plastic off um, way earlier than where you're supposed to cut it. So 
snip the pieces off. Sometimes they just come right off. Like that piece, I didn't even cut it. It just came right off. And then that way there's no tension when you're cutting these little, when you're snipping these little parts off right here. And try to be as flush as you can because you won't need to do anything else if you snip it nice and close. I know some people sand them and they get all into it, but, um, but I don't even usually bother. You can take an X-Acto knife if you have one and you can like shave that little piece off. A lot of people will sand, um, but it'll prevent gaps when they are actually at points that connect. So there's 36 and and snip two and when it's a situation like this I try to go nice and flush as flush as I can but again the experts are going to be sanding these down and like making it real perfect but I don't really care because I just want a nice cool figure it doesn't have to be perfect <clears throat> so you got your two pieces here and take a look at the kit at the uh, instructions so these two pieces just push together 36 and 37 you got the back part of the helmet there and then we need b33 a44 and the piece we just put together to assemble this next part so we need b33 and a44 and B33 is the, the front of the mask. It's an easy one to find. And A44, which is down, which is right down here. So this rack here is a hard plastic and this one is like a stiff plastic. These two are stiff plastics. And then there's a joint rack here. This one has all the joints on it. And this is like a pretty much like a rubbery type of plastic that allows for the articulation. Uh, and this is another stiff plastic rack. Okay, so we need 44. So A44 is right here. And I'm going to snip it off the rack. Got our piece. So we have our three pieces. And you follow the directions and just push them together. So this one looks like it goes into the front like this. And you can see the pieces coming through. And that's the beauty of these kits. It really, they have like the, the layering of it because they're all separate pieces and they just look really tight. Okay, and then this next piece is just going to go on the back like this. Line it up. And you just proceed from there. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It becomes like building a Lego kit. A couple pieces of advice while you're building. Don't pull too many off the rack at once because you might get confused what numbers they are. If you are gonna try to pull a bunch off the rack, I would label them. Like maybe have a sheet of paper out and just have all the numbers and label them all out. Uh, but you don't want to get confused because some of the pieces look very similar and it can get a little confusing and uh, you don't wanna mess with it. And it, you know, there's, there's no colors here and it can be kind of hard to tell what's what. So. As long as you're just pulling them off one at a time, you'll be fine to, um, you know, just assemble as you go. That's basically what I do. 
and um, I'll build a few more pieces and just kind of finish up the head and and then we'll call it a day and on the next video what we'll do is we will take a look at the stickers I'll probably do apply a couple stickers and a couple water slide decals just to show you how simple and easy obviously the stickers are mindless you just stick them on but the the water slide decals can take a little bit of um, you know a little bit of skill but they're super easy all right so I need B31 and A9 so let's see our B rack B31 and A9 and over here and snip these off Okay, so one, one cool piece here is, uh, even though this is a rack with a black on it, there is a white piece, and then there is a clear green piece, and this is the visor right here. So I'm gonna pop that one off, because that's A39, and I just need that to assemble right over here. And this is one where those triangles matter. So you can see like you might be tempted to snip it off up at the top there, but you want to snip it down here right at those triangles because you're going to need those pegs. So let me get it off the rack first. And then I'm going to snip it right, I don't know if you can see that, it's tough to see, but right where that triangle comes down, right there and right there. And so this is the, these are the eyes, this is the visor. You can see the eyes sort of come down. You just wanna make sure it's positioned correctly. So I'm gonna position it like this. And then the head, the helmet's gonna come down, the dome's gonna come down on top of that. And this piece here. So, get the visor piece in. And the dome down on top of that. You can see there's two pegs there. For those two pegs we snipped off. And so the head fully assembled. And if you look at the sheet, after step one, you move on to step two, and you start building out the torso. And again, you just go through step by step, cut a piece off, cut the next piece off, stick them together according to the worksheet, and move on to your next step in one step at a time, and you can build yourself a stormtrooper. Very simple. It's basically as easy as Legos. And like I said, next video, the final video, I'll have the rest of the kit um, fully assembled. And then what we'll do is we'll put some stickers on and we'll put some decals on. And I mean, it's that easy. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, be sure to check out the next one and uh, all my other videos, lots of action figure reviews. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, may the force be with you. Dorklair.